You can bring your hands together at your heart. The words are ong, spelled O-N-G, ong. The back of the tongue touches the upper palate at the back of the mouth. Ong, namo, gurudev namo. Om Namah Om Namah Guru Dev Namah Guru Dev Namah Om Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Namo You may bow your head to your heart. Release your hands. You may open your eyes. I'm gonna tie my hair off my face. It might not stay, but uh, I'll start there. So we'll practice a little ujjayi pranayama here with some of the hasta vinyasa, which means the movements of the hands on the arms. And then we're gonna go to some of the kriyas that we were doing yesterday. So turn your palms face out, please. And bring that jaw and the harabanda in. So your inhale is going to start here and your exhale is going to end here. And in jaw and the harabanda, you're lifting the collarbones up towards the center of the throat and the chin is coming down towards the center of the throat. So that's called jaw and the harabanda. It means it's a seal. You're sealing energy here. So the inhale, you're uncapping that energy. We're going to go up. And the exhale, you're gonna be returning down to John the Harabanda. Let's begin with the inhale. And the palms face out, exhale. Inhale. You're moving energy through the system. That is you, the flute of the body. And exhale, push out and wide and down. Again. We're going to add to the sequence. So inhale. Side bend right. Inhale, open your left arm, gaze down. Exhale. 
Exhale, rise up, arms wide. Inhale, rise up, gaze up, lift your heart, your collarbones, and your chin. Exhale, side bend to your left. Bring your chin down in towards your throat. Inhale, open your right arm, gaze down. Exhale, rise up, arms wide. Inhale, rise up, gaze up. Exhale, push out, reach back to clasp your hands at the small of your back. Inhale, roll your shoulders back and reach up joyfully. And exhale, return to your seat with your hands clasped behind your back. Bring the chin in towards your throat like you're doing bridge pose. Squeeze the arms back, shoulders back, without pushing your floating ribs forward. Now, Ujjayi, exhale, release the clasp of your hands. Rest your palms face down in your lap. Sweep your left hand across to the outside of your right thigh. When you sweep it across, try to keep your arm close to your abdomen. So there is pressure of the upper arm against your rib cage here. Use your right hand on your left hand to give support. Side bend to your left. You won't get to go very far to the left. So the C curve is gonna be stronger rather than side leaning, you're side curving. Let your left ear get heavy towards your left shoulder. Okay, let's inhale, rise up to center. Now cross the back of your right hand to the outside of your left thigh and bring it snug in towards your abdomen. Support your right wrist with your left hand and make a C curve to your right. Let the right ear be heavy towards your right shoulder. Listen for how the ujjayi breath is making its pathway when you sort of curve the flute of the body there. And then rise up to center. We're gonna be going up, down. So this is what we call I call Kriya because it's cleansing. It's a strong inhale, a brisk inhale, and a brisk exhale about 30 times. Inhale. And exhale.
deeply relax and watch your inner body intelligence move the breath. Again, inhale to suspension. Exhale, arms wide and down. Return to your starting position. Just notice the breath moving through you. Hands up to the shoulders. This is Kapalabhati. Five, four, three, two, one, come to center, and then inhale up to suspension, hands out over your knees. Exhale completely. Invite the physical body to become very still. The breath body not under your control right now, just taking care of you. Welcome the mental body to get really still. Listen for the internal felt sense of wisdom or deep knowing. It's beneath the clutter of the mind. And deeper than that, a felt sense of belonging without conditions. Now Kapalabhati again.
five, four, three, two, one, come to center. Inhale up to suspension. Exhale completely and smoothly. And then let the physical body be very still. Just enough effort to be upright. Relax any sense of doing the breath. Invite the mind to be very still. Back into the deeper vibration of wisdom or inner guidance. Bring your hands into the mudra for the first chakra. The two fingers, index fingers and thumbs are touching. The M sound in these mantras vibrates inside the mouth, particularly if you bring the lips in between your teeth when you make the M. Lum, lum, lum. Lum, lum, lum. Lum, 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 lum. Lum, 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 lum. Second chakra. Make the throat hollow during the M sound so it's a large resonance chamber. Wom, wom, wom. Wom, wom. Wum, 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 wum. Wum, 
Third chakra. Ram, 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 Ram. Ram, Ram. Ram, 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 Ram. Ram, 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 Ram. Ram, 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 Ram. Fourth chakra. Yum, 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 yum. 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 Fifth chakra. Um, 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 um. 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 Um. 
And rest your hands in your lap. Invite the physical body, the breath body, the mind body to be deeply still. And respecting the stillness that we're cultivating. And that stillness is that the physical body, the breath body, the mental body are less restless, less agitated by our conditioning. <laughs> Let's come up to standing in Prasara Takarachanasana, please. It's the standing wide leg forward bend. Depending on how far forward your body comes in a forward bend like this, you have a sense of being a little bit inverted or the torso quite a bit inverted. Come into the hollow of the throat again for the ujjayi breath. So you're listening to that little whisper of the breath in the inner ear. Begin to count the pace of the breath, noticing the inhale and exhale might be longer, not because of greater quantity, but the ability to move more slowly with the breath. Perhaps moving the same quantity of air over a slower period of time. Lift your hands to your hips, rise up to standing, turn your heels in, pose out, come down to the jazz dance pose. With two straight arms, press the knees out, draw the tailbone down towards your pubic bones. So you're not um, hyperextending the lower back. Stay with the ujjayi breath, please. Moving perhaps the customary quantity of air, what you normally experience, but slower. 
I'm going to invite you to start playing with, exploring, that when you get to the end of an exhale, you'll have the most tone at the pelvic floor and in the deep abdomen. And you can release the tone that made the exhale and without inhaling, radically relax the belly and notice the momentary suction that happens in the inner body. And then begin your inhale smoothly so that the start of the inhale is not including any kind of gasping. When you've squeezed the breath out and you're in that vacuum, you've deeply relaxed the belly muscles and the exhale is being momentarily suspended, you may feel the throat, the hollowing of the throat as well. Before you inhale, tone the belly to re-equalize the pressure of the upper chest and the lower trunk. And then inhale smoothly. And then transition back down to Prasarata Karatanasana. Walk your hands forward. We're going to try the same thing. So this is not a formal or full sweeping Uddiyana Bandha. It's the practice of exhaling and then deeply relaxing the exhale muscles without inhaling. So you're just going to get a glimpse of that initial vacuum that happens in the inner body. And then you also get to practice how to re-equalize the pressure of the trunk or the torso before you inhale. And then please bring your hands up to your hips, root down with your tailbone, rise up to standing. So we're gonna go heel toe, heel toe, heel toe again. I'll change the angle of the camera on my computer there. Good morning. So you should have a sense of the inner body there now from the belly up to the throat. So let's take it to Surya Namaskar for some heat in the body. It's chilly here again on the back deck. And I would like us to move to a sequence that we're going to pick up from this past weekend after we do Surya Namaskar. Come to the front of your mat, please. Bring your hands together at your heart. Going to stand in the plumb line of the body, but also the chakras. Moving too much forward, nor moving too much back. And with the ujjayi breath, keep your hands down, wide, and up. And please look up. And then exhale, tone your legs, including the inner arches, the inner thighs. Bow your torso down to Uttanasana. And inhale, glide forward through your heart and look forward. Exhale, left toes straight back. Inhale, rise into your crescent lunge. Now arms wide, as you descend, keep your left butt strong, left leg steady, left toes grounded. Inhale, step to plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog pose. 
inhale forward to plank. Think of the chakras being on the flute, the flute of the inner body. Exhale to cow pose. Inhale to seal pose, bring your hips forward. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, left foot forward, keep the right toes grounded. Inhale, glide up. Exhale, descend. Inhale forward, heart forward. Exhale to deeply bow. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, pick up there. Continuing, inhale. Inhale forward. Left foot back. A smooth glide upwards. Smooth descent. Look for your inner stability. Inhale, plank pose. Downward facing dog. Plank pose. Even the mind is stable. Cow pose. Seal pose. Plank pose. Downward dog pose. This is the end breath. Left foot forward. Rising. Descending. Stepping forward, heart forward. And bow to the legs. Rising up. The inhale rising up. Oh, oh. I'm singing to pace your breath. You don't have to sing with me. Heart forward, please. Uttanasana. Heart forward. Om. Left foot back. Guru Namo. Rising. Om Namo. Descend. Guru Namo. Plank. Om Namo. Dog, Guru Namo. Plank. 
Baik. Oh. Namo. Cow pose. Guru Dev Namo. Heel pose. Oh. Namo. Plank. Guru Dev Namo. Downward dog. Oh. Oh. Left foot forward. Guru Dev Namo. Rising. Oh. Descending. Guru Namo. Forward. Oh. Downward. Guru Namo. Rising up. Take your left foot back to your car's boat, not enough. Reach back to interlace your fingers at the small of your back. Or use your yoga strap. With your left hip down and forward, tailbone down, rise up, little standing back leg. Bow forward, slowly. Inhale, rise up. Slowly. Exhale, bow forward. Slowly. So going at the pace of your breath, look for inner stability in the body. The mind. Rotate to the other side. Change the clasp of your hands when you go to the small of the back. Take the long inhale to rise up. Slow glide forward. Slowly rising. So the inner artistry, like the inner music of the body. Breath. Even the power of the senses and the mind when they're not being hijacked.
one more time, please. Step into house rooms. Pick up one block and place it in your right hand. Take a wide scan. Turn your feet to the left for what we think of as trikonasana. Then how the arms slide. As with yesterday, maintaining the legs. So the right outer hip, outer thigh, outer heel is steady. Here's your exhale. Inhaling. And exhale, left arm up. Inhale, rise up, tone the left outer hip, left outer heel. Imagine you're a sundial, come down to the inside of the right leg. Keep the real tone of both legs. Inhale, left arm past your ear. Exhale, raise the left arm up, rotate to your left. Root your left outer hip and heel, inhale, rise up. And exhale a little more on the sundial. Then swing the hips backwards, bring the torso forward. Root your left outer hip and outer heel. Inhale. Inhale. Inhale, rise up. Use the stability of the legs. And exhale, release. Let's go the other way. So there's like three stations there on the sundial. Excuse me for a moment. Inhale, arms wide. Exhale. Inhale, enjoy. Root your right outer hip and outer heel. Exhale, reach up. And inhale. Okay, exhale, come a little bit forward more. There you go. Good, keep the right outer hip toned. Inhale, right arm past your ear. Exhale, raise your arm up like an antenna. Inhale, rise up. And one more time, exhale. Not because you leaned your butt backwards, but because you reached the torso, requiring a little bit more dexterity, a little bit more tone, and inviting the twist to be a little bit deeper. So inhale, rise, and then untwist, and exhale, feet parallel. Let's use the block to come down for the head. Om Namo Gurudev Namo Namo Put the block aside and come down to your knees on the long side of your mat like this.
place your two blankets and place the pubic bone, the belly, the head, like this. Now you can either keep the legs straight and flat on the ground. This is like a little celebratory pose before we turn over towards Shavasana. And this is for the throat, but of course it includes all of the chakras and you'll probably sense the connection from the second chakra to the fifth chakra. So bring your head to center. Pretend that you're in slumber party pose. So if the chakras have front and back aspects, this is an opening on the front side and the toning or strengthening on the back side. So energize the legs and you may keep them down on the floor. Reach back to clasp the hands and rise up to Salambhasana, or you can bend the legs. Hold the tops of your ankles and then come up to Dhanurasana. Whichever pose you're choosing, let it stay breathable for inhale and exhale. And then exhale to come down, turn your head to one side or the other. Rotate your head to center. Come to your slumber party pose. And then decide again if you're going to keep the legs flat down. You can actually start by just exploring your salambhasana. And then decide if today is a morning where you'd like to practice dhanurasana. And then exhale and come down slowly. Place your hands on the floor. Press up to table pose. Now this might seem a little bit strange, but you're accustomed to it. <laughs> you're accustomed to it with me. Lie on your back with your two blankets. You place them now along the front body like this okay so something like this and then close the eyes and watch your body going from these moments in salambhasana or dhanurasana a little bit like shaking a snow globe and watch the snow particles now settling. The physical body and the breath body, the mental body, be very still. Actions are happening, of course, in the physical body and the breath body, but you're not making them happen.
Keep noticing the process. Your body is wisely nurturing for you. You could imagine as with yesterday, at the first chakra, a sense of being grounded. Second chakra, wisdom and love. Third chakra, courage. Fourth chakra, compassion. And then rising to the fifth chakra where your voice is neither too sharp nor pointed nor muted. Speaking with equanimity. Slightly deepen your breathing. A little wiggle to your fingers and your toes, please. And transition from Shavasana back to sitting. Um, Please take a comfortable and upright seat. Place your thumbs to close the ears, fingers over the eyebrows. We'll do this five times. Imagine the vibration going up to the roof of the mouth and to the sinuses. Mm -hmm. Mm 
for that vibration going up. You may now release your hands to your lap. Keep your attention inward from the throat to the upper palate towards the sixth chakra. Again, let the physical body be very still. The breath body might become very still. The mental body, very still. The sixth chakra the place of inner sight. Connect inwardly to your guiding wisdom. Raise your hands to your heart. Raise your hands to the sixth chakra, bow the head to the heart. And this inner guidance back down to the heart. And you may keep the eyes closed so you take the palms forward, open your hands and offering to the community. You can sense you're receiving that without having to see it visually. Make your offering in a big circle. The eyes may be open or closed. Circle in both directions. Thank you very much, everyone. Namaste.